Hi guys! Alright, I'm going to do another review for you and this is uh, the Eve's Veggie Cuisine. I'll be reviewing the chicken veggie tenders. Now what they look like are just sort of strips of chicken breast and you're going to saute them. I'm going to show you what the package looks like. This was $4.99 at one of the stores I shop at, which is not always the cheapest, but um, I picked it up. I saw the Gardein version of this at another store, didn't pick it up. I got the beef strips instead, and now I can't find those Gardein ones at a store closer to me, so I should have picked them up. But let's try the Eves. So it's what it looks like, kind of looks plain. You're going to season it, you're going to saute it, and um, let's get started. All right, let me tell you what's in it. Where are the ingredients? Okay, water, soy protein. Let's see if you can see that. Grabbing that. Water, soy protein, wheat gluten, yeast extract, canola oil, natural flavors, evaporated cane juice, sea salt, spices, and contains mustard, pea protein, carrot fiber, paprika, and turmeric extracts. It has thiamine hydrochloride, riboflavin, niacinamide, pyridoxide hydrochloride, goodness, can't say all this stuff, but it's got um, some vitamins and minerals here. I'm tired of reading all that stuff out to you guys and not saying it correctly. Okay, and the directions, pot's probably a little hot, lightly oil a non-stick frying pan and preheat on medium cooking, medium setting, cook for four to five minutes stirring frequently. You can add a tablespoon of water, cover, and cook for another 30 seconds. That's the stove top. So, I've got just a bit, half a clove of garlic here. I'm going to fry this up with that for my daughter. I'm going to use a case, make a quesadilla. So I'm going to make mine separately because I want all kinds of other stuff in there. She won't. And I'll get to that recipe soon. So, to get started, this is what they look like. And they smell seasoned. It does say they're lightly seasoned, so they smell they smell like they have a seasoning, some sort of seasoning on them. They're perfectly cut into little strips already. I guess I should see what uh, the texture looks like. Oops, there went one. See how it splits apart like that, like chicken does? So, pretty good. All right, maybe that's, we'll do that. That's probably good for my daughter. I'm gonna add the garlic. And you can see that's already browning nicely on one side. See, looks nice. With the garlic, it certainly smells nice. So I'll brown this for a little bit, I'll add the water like they say, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so there you go. It looks nicely browned, I mean it looks like chicken. And I've just taken out a tiny piece here, and I'm going to taste it. Ooh, a bit hot. Doesn't taste like chicken, you know, sort of maybe minimally. Um, mm, I don't want to say it has a rubbery uh, consistency, but perhaps slightly rubbery. Um, this is not, it has that little, I don't know if it's the soy, like I've had vegetarian meats before that have this sort of taste to it. So it's not bad. I'm going to cook this up, like I said, in a quesadilla. Hopefully it will be good. But I do believe the Gardein is better. The Gardein really just tastes more like chicken. It doesn't have that sort of whatever product that is aftertaste that gives it that you know it's not meat flavor. But, you know, it's still, it's still pretty good. It's tasty. And I look forward to making the quesadilla, so watch for that in the next video.